all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too, I thank God. But you who is not fine, don't worry. We are praying for you and by his grace, you will get well very soon. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back if you're a returning subscriber. But if you're new here, you are welcome. And please, before you leave this channel, make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Today's video is going to be a very interesting video, very funny, and we are having that life experience as usual. <laughs> so I'm going to be sharing with you things white men find strange about black African women. Number one, eating leftovers in the morning as breakfast with tea. Maybe you cooked rice and beans and it remained. Then in the morning, you eat that food with tea as breakfast. <laughs> this one is very normal for a black African woman, but for white men, it is very strange, especially here in Italy where I live. They take tea with biscuits or cake, something that has sugar in it. Never mix sugary things or sugary food with salty food. So they find it very strange. And <laughs> when I do that, my husband always say, you are strange, <laughs> salty food in the morning. <laughs> but for me, it's normal. But for a white man or for white men, it is totally strange. <laughs> Number two, the way we treat our men. White men find it very strange. And this is going to be very funny. I don't know if it is done in all African countries. I don't know, but I know. Africa is one. We share a lot of things. <laughs> in my country, where I come from, Tanzania, some tribes, they teach girls, young girls, when they reach the teenage age, they teach them how to behave around men, how to treat men when they start the relationship or when they get married, how you should treat your man, how you should take care of him. <laughs> Even in bed, <laughs> they teach that, they teach them that. But I'm not from that tribe, but I grew up knowing that those tribe exist and I have seen those. They even do a party and then elders teach those young girls how to treat their men when they get married so that the men cannot cheat. <laughs> you need to treat him like a king. Give him everything that he wants. In fact, one time when I was working in Tanzania, one lady told me that, do you know how to use honey? Then I told her, honey, yes, for food we eat. She told me, no, when you are with your man, do you know how to use honey? I was like, no, how do you use it? She laughed a lot and she was like, you have to pay me so that I can teach you very well because I see you don't have any education on how to treat your man. If you get a boyfriend, then that boyfriend is going to leave you. If he finds a lady who knows very well how to treat him like me then you forget about that man so this brings me to the topic of today how we treat our men if you come with that mentality and you start treating a white man like the way you were taught <laughs> back home <laughs> this man is going to find this very strange i want to give you an example one time I cooked African food and then I tried to feed my husband to tell him that try and see how it tastes. Then he took first spoon. The second spoon, he told me, no, I'm not a kid. Don't feed me. <laughs> I laughed a lot. And then I told him that, you know what? In my country, there are those tribes whereby those women who were taught how to treat their men, they take their men to the bathroom for a bath and afterwards they apply oil or if a man returns from work then they help that man to remove his shoes but don't try that with a white man <laughs> he's going to find that very strange and he'll stop you immediately 
Number three, the way we use the word sister and brother, especially for us black African people who live here in abroad. <laughs> we call ourselves sister, brother, but for them, they find it very strange. And one time we had a neighbor, this neighbor used to call me sister and they call her sister. <laughs> then my husband was like, what is this sister thing? <laughs> Are you church people because that sister sister <laughs> it is used most for church people or if someone is your blood sister or your blood brother you can't just call someone sister that is not your relative <laughs> they find that very strange but for us it is normal because africa is one and we are sisters and brothers so i want to give you another example concerning that sister thing um one time i received a very rude comment here on youtube about my husband but the person started with the word sis <laughs> so i showed that comment to my husband and he was like oh this person must be an african i told him why this person started with the word sis. It is you who call yourselves sis, sis, sis. <laughs> so they find sister or brother is very strange if someone isn't your blood relative. Number four is hair. <laughs> White men find black African women's hair very strange. How? <laughs> The first time I met my husband, when he came to visit, I had braids and he told me, you have beautiful hair. I told him, thank you. But I did not understand. He thought that was my hair. The second time, it is me who came to visit. So I had a short kinky weave and he liked it a lot. He told me, you have beautiful hair. So time went by and because I stayed for a month, I couldn't stay with a weave for all that time. I had to remove it. So the day I was removing that weave, he was in a shock. He told me, what? So it is not your hair? I told him, no, my hair is short, just <laughs> short hair, normal. Just like as you see it, guys. <laughs> and it is not kinky. So he was so surprised and he said, who? Strange. <laughs> Also, I have noticed when I go out wearing a wig, most white men, even women, really think that it is my hair. One time I was wearing my wig, it is a curly wig, I have it here. I had this wig on and <laughs> I was taking some videos, I left my hubby in the car, so as I was taking the videos, a white man approached me and he was like you have beautiful hair i love women with curly hair i told him thank you so this man thought it was my hair <laughs> when i returned in the car my husband asked me but what was that man asking you i told him <laughs> he was uh, he was telling me that i have beautiful hair he said what oh my god if i knew i could have come and do this with my hand. It's not her hair. We bought it. It's not her hair. <laughs> Very funny. But someone who doesn't have any experience with a black woman, if he sees a black woman wearing a wig or weave, thinks that that hair is hers. And at the time they realize it's not, they find it very strange. <laughs> Another time we were watching the TV, there was this program whereby people um, come together to find love in the television program. So this guy saw a black woman and he really went crazy for that girl. <laughs> he even left the women who had come to see him so that they can start meeting and know each other. He told them that, you know what, you have to wait. I need to know this black woman. So my hubby was like, but does he know that that woman is wearing a wig? 
I hope when they get to know each other and then the lady removes her wig, this man won't run. <laughs> he should know that it's not her hair. <laughs> they find it strange, guys. Very strange. Also, to add on about hair, the way we wash our hair, the way we take care of our hair, they say that it takes a lot of time, a lot of time, and they find it very strange using a lot of products on the hair, taking a lot of time to wash it and take care of it. Number five, this is about me, guys. I'm a black African woman. So I'm going to give you an example which my husband found it very strange. <laughs> But I know it is not all black African women. But for me, the first time I came here in Italy, guys, uh, when I cross the zebra cross on the road, when I'm crossing the zebra, <laughs> I used to walk very fast and sometimes run. My hubby found that very strange. He told me, why? You need to relax. when." When crossing the zebra, you don't need to run, you don't need to rush. It is your right to walk normally when you cross the zebra cross. <laughs> but for me, guys, it's because back home in Dar es Salaam, when we cross the zebra, most drivers don't respect the zebra cross. Sometimes they come quickly, they can even knock you. They don't respect at all. So I was so used to that. So when I came here, when I crossed the zebra cross, I do the same. And my hubby found that very strange. I don't know if there is anyone who can relate to that. And I know also it is not only my hubby who found that strange. I know even people around me or people who used to see me at that time <laughs> crossing the zebra cross very fast or running used to get very surprised and found that very strange. <laughs> Number six, the way we complain about cold. When cold season starts, it is cold, cold, I feel cold, I feel cold, cold. <laughs> Even if you're inside the house, you still feel cold and complain about it. <laughs> if you're a black African woman watching this, I know you can also relate to this. <laughs> we always complain about cold, even if it is not all that cold, but we still feel cold. It is true. <laughs> we still feel cold. But for white men, they find it very strange. For us, it is not strange because we are used to that hot weather in Africa. That is why we always feel very cold, even if it is not all that cold cold <laughs> and for me when he tells me you are strange complaining about cold it is not all that cold i tell him remember i'm an african number seven speaking so loud on the phone especially when you're talking to your friends or to your relatives <laughs> back home <laughs> they say we are speaking so loud very very loud and they find that very strange <laughs> but for me i find it normal i talk normal but they say we are loud when we speak on the phone white men find this very strange as african women not washing our hair every day and one time i had to lie <laughs> to someone because he was asking me if i wash my hair every day and i told him yes and it wasn't even my hair it was a weaving so <laughs> i had to say yes and afterwards <laughs> my hubby was like you lied to him <laughs> i laughed i told him what could I have said? Because it, it could have raised a lot of discussion why you don't wash your hair every day and all that. But white men find us not washing our hair every day very strange. Point nine, white men find black African women strange when eating with their hands. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I do eat with my hands <laughs> because we are used to that back home. 
sometimes when we eat we use our hands but for white men everything they eat they must use a fork and a knife or a spoon never with hands so seeing a black african woman using hands to eat they find it very strange <laughs> point number 10 which is the last one sleeping with your hair cap <laughs> or covering your hair when you go to bed they find it very strange <laughs> I don't know why or maybe because white women don't do that but it is very strange <laughs> they will tell you what is that hmm, you are strange <laughs> you sleep with something covered your head you don't feel pain <laughs> so that was it guys thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it share it with your friends family everyone that you think is going to enjoy this video and learn something get a life experience comment below what you think about this video add in to the points where i missed if you're a black african woman watching this subscribe to my channel if you haven't watch my other videos too i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao